This is a small, low-cost AI development board developed by XOrigin AI. And I'm going to dive into the features today. Here's a little preview before we get into the video. Tell me a joke about 3D printing. Why did the 3D printer break up with the paper printer? Because it found someone with more layers. Although it was corny, it was a little bit funny, I'm not going to lie. But here are the product specifications. At its core, it's basically an ESP32 with a screen, microphone, and speakers. So here it is. It comes in two separate pieces, the battery and the actual device. This device is in the early stages of beta and XOrigin did send me this for review, but all opinions are my own. The battery pack connects to the device with a magnet and it's super satisfying. To turn it on, you press and hold the left button the and it will prompt you to set up the Wi-Fi. Once you do that, it's gonna scan for your Wi-Fi and then when it's done, it's gonna beep and then ask you to bind it. So we're gonna move to the computer for this. So I'm on the AIPI.com website and there are two options, application creation and agent marketplace. In the marketplace, there's a ton of pre-made agents that you could import. Some of them are really cool, but I'm going to be focusing on application creation for this video. You could call yours whatever. I'm just calling mine test and then I'm gonna pick English. And then you could select the model you want. I'm gonna do GPT-4. Now for the character customization, I just went to ChatGPT and it gave me a sassy and quick responding AI agent. So I copy that, put it into the website, and then click confirm. So now you can see my agents tab. There's the test agent that we just made, and then you have to add the device, and this is where you put the binding code that the device showed on its screen. After you do that, the device is connected, and you could go to the device and start talking to it. Before we do that, though, I want to change the voice. I'm going to go to configure character and character timber, and then I'm just going to select a voice randomly. When you're done with that, you can click save, and then just like that, the device is ready. So back to the device, I did reboot it, so it's gonna scan for the Wi-Fi, and there we go, that's the screen that you wanna see. So right now it's in standby, and I can click the right button to talk to it. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Should I buy the Bamboo Lab P1S or the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon? No, I'm sure you don't want to listen to that for another 30 seconds, but it basically gives a ton of good information about which printer I should buy. Also, I've never had it hallucinate anything before. Summary. Want great results and don't care about the shiny extras? Go P1S. Crave cutting-edge tech and maximum reliability? Go X1 Carbon. Your wallet and your inner gadget nerd can duke it out from here. So you might have noticed at the start of the video that the AI kind of sounded like me. And that's because I recorded my voice and uploaded it and it copied my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to keep my AI model the same as GPT-4. And now it'll have my voice. You guys let me know how good it is. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. You already told me that one. Tell me a different one. Again, really corny, but kind of funny. And that is going to be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. If not, subscribe, like, and stay tuned because I'll be posting more about this product.